Uh, I'm gonna give my two cents on the Warcraft movie, which I have uh, recently watched. Um, it's based on a computer game, right? The Warcraft. Uh, I think it follows both. It follows the Warcraft games and not the world of Warcraft. I'm not sure. It's been a while that I played one and two, and I just played it just for the sake of playing it, not really for the story itself. I wasn't really paying attention what was really going on, if there was anything going on. Uh, I played it for the strat strategy aspect, and the third one I didn't uh, play it at, at all. Uh, this takes place early in the lore, as far as I know. I don't know if lore uh, can date uh, back even earlier than the events of the Warcraft movie. Um, so, uh, yeah, one of the main things uh, of this movie and general genre is, uh, you know, the creatures, including the or the races uh, and the orcs. So, uh, orcs are apparently all CGI, meaning uh, they people did face capture and then applied it uh, to the orc faces, and it was done so good. So, um, the the faces, the impressions are really good. Uh, you know, if you aren't familiar with the franchise, and I wasn't, and I'm still not really too much, but uh, it initially looks like like humans are good and orcs are bad type of thing, and orcs are brutes and brutals and wild creatures, whereas the civilized ones are the humans. Um, it's not really like that. Uh, so uh, the movie is trying to not paint uh, the orcs as villain. They are, however, not, uh, you know, uh, candy bar uh, <laughs> creatures either. Yeah, they are um, strong physically and yeah, they are quite harsh, uh, but it's explained, and the movie does a good job of explaining this within their nature of, you know, uh, wild um, civilization, so to speak. They are definitely smart, uh, smart as a human, I would say, though, uh, solve problems more with war, <laughs> they like war, and... Um, I am a little bit familiar with the lore from the Hearthstone perspective as I play the card game and uh, see, you know, characters as cards and such. So I could relate a little bit uh, with some of them, but still, there are so many uh, uh, heroes or uh, so many characters whose names are mentioned and they just, uh, just like, introduce like that. So you don't really uh, get too much of a... Uh, background stories for them and this is a big franchise right so you can actually make standalone movies in fact for any uh, main character but uh, we'll see if the, we will see any of this in fact we won't even we don't even know if there's going to be a sequel uh, for this movie uh, which is a bit of a sad thing because this movie sets this universe uh, up and um, it brings a soft conclusion to it you know it in the current Warcraft, it's ongoing, right? World of Warcraft. So it's obvious that you shouldn't expect, uh, like, uh, some uh, all, all villains are there are any since you know there isn't a clear uh, villain. Yeah, I can see there, 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 there can be villain there, but uh, or villains there, but uh, even that is not emphasized, I would say. Um, they're just doing stuff the way they want. I mean, that's the whole theme of being villain anyway, but uh, yeah, so do not expect a hard conclusion at the end of the movie. Now, uh, is it worth watching? It is worth watching, I would say. If you are into action, into, your, into fantasy, and I'm, I read that they... Um, They've been, they follow the lore mostly, although they made some changes, which is understandable. Uh, but apparently they didn't make big changes. And uh, the characters are doing, I think, okay. Uh, they, you know, they aren't very famous people, I guess. I'm sure you would know some of them, but I don't really know. Uh, I can't even 
uh, I can't even remember the guy who played Mediv. I know that uh, I I watched him uh, several times and he's a good actor, but I don't I don't even uh, remember his uh, name. Uh, at the end of the movie, uh, if you are a Warcraft fan, you probably will be wanting more. Even though in the United States it actually wasn't successful apparently, and it was much more successful overseas, especially in China, um, which I guess is also reflective of the player base, which is sad because that means that only uh, the fans are interested in and not anybody else. Um, if they have followed the slower pace, if they have uh, like uh, divided. Uh, this movie and some other follow-up into two or three movies and said one, two, three and followed it like that, then uh, people were able to digest stuff much better, but it looked like they wanted to get a lot of things out in one movie, which is never a good idea. <laughs> I don't recall any movie that was deemed very successful when they wanted to get a lot of things out about a story, about a written, previous written, recorded or made story, whether it's a game, a book or anything like that. Uh, it was, it's almost never perceived as, uh, as really positively. That is the biggest, uh, I think, problem with this. If you don't know anything about Warcraft, I can see that you might wonder, well... I mean, the movie explains it, but the characters, they just pop up. So you might not be connected to a uh, uh, lot of them. I mean, you can, but still. Um, yeah, that's the biggest uh, issue with the movie. I would say if you want to have some nice time, if you are a visual effects uh, action uh, person, then yeah, I would recommend this movie. If you are a Warcraft fan, you probably have, or have watched this movie already. Or if you are somehow new into World of Warcraft or Hearthstone, uh, you will find uh, like uh, yeah, familiar faces and you know the lore better anyway. If you haven't watched the movie and aren't into Warcraft, then only for a good time. Uh, but. Uh, sadly, yeah, the movie is like uh, too many things happening and um, you are uh, like wondering whether you should care about it or not if you want to think about it. And uh, like try to, I don't know how you can do that, Go, you can go to IMDB I think and uh, look at the names of uh, some uh, some uh, people in the movie so that you are familiar with the names so that when you hear about them you will say okay so that's that guy you should there yeah there's also uh, that uh, that person and this person and such uh, yeah so and because of the lack of great success we might not see it uh, I wish uh, they didn't rush it I uh, wish they took a slower take on it, uh, maybe even reduce the budget further and make like an origin story about one or two characters and that's pretty much it. So focus on the art, focus on, on, the, um, on the story of it and the novelty of it, you know, orcs, uh, we are familiar with it, with the Lord of Rings and such, yeah, but these are different orcs and uh, different humans and there are other races uh, too. Focus on their introduction and see how well it is perceived. Uh, but I guess uh, that also requires a lot of production and probably wasn't uh, uh, possible at the time. So yeah, uh, overall, I, I, I still enjoyed it because I'm familiar with people, but it's up to you, to be honest. I cannot just fully recommend this. Um, it's up to you if you want to just watch a visual movie and be satisfied with it, or um, if visuals aren't your thing, uh, then I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so that's the end of my uh, two cents for the Warcraft.